Hello friends, my name is Basant and in today's video we are going to make some rules for the configure consolidation and today we are going to make one rule for the equity investment correction and goodwill rectification. So let's move on to our case which I have prepared. So this is our case and we have an holding company that is C901 and we have an associate company that is C903 and it is having 40% of our stake. Uh, we have we are having 40 percent stake in this and the consolidated entity is c900 okay so as you can see we have one balance sheet here and we are running through the equity method and these are the figures we are having our, in our balance sheet okay so as you can see this is this is our desired output we want in our final final data and we have cash figures in our uh, asset side and we have also have the investment and at the liability side you can see we have stock retain earning and short term payables okay so here's one working of our retain earning i will show you first so in our holding we uh, we take the 7000 over holding and we have retain earning of associate as well but we have 40% stake in this so we will only take 40% of this so it comes to 1200 and total retained earning the net retained earning will come to 8200 okay so what happens is this uh, when we when we run the rule of consolidation in fccs uh, the the rule is um, like merging these two amounts to one investment and if you wanted to show it separately then we will make one rule for this and along with that we have stock as well and we want that stock should come only for the parent and other things as well okay so this is the desired result we want in our application and uh, first move on to our uh, smart view through uh, excel and uh, put some numbers so for the sake of uh, simplicity i already put in the numbers and let's see the final output what we are getting after after running the rule of consolidation so let's run the business rule go to consolidate and launch okay so rule ran successfully let's refresh okay so what happening is that when we uh, run the rule of consolidation in our consolidated entity that is c900 and we are getting the number as 13,200 which is not correct uh, as I already told you that we should get 1200 12,000 and the 1200 should come in the income side but the application is doing that it is showing 1200 as well in the income but also increasing the investment with the same amount and uh, the total amount we are getting is 13,200 okay and we also the in the application are also calculating goodwill which is not correct we don't have any goodwill in our equity case equity method so that we have will have to rectify and when you see the elimination part you can see in this investment side and the moment when the dis, when the moment is disposal you can see we are getting 1200 that is not correct and um, we also having a negative goodwill in this case so we will eliminate this thing and then we will see what figures we are getting okay so first move on to move on to our application that is fccs and go to navigator and open consolidation so here in consolidation you can see that in the second tab this is consolidation process and uh, go to consolidated In this rule, we can have the all the eliminations done for the parent and the all the related entities. So we will select the consolidation, configure consolidation. And here it is also showing that uh, these all rules are applicable to the elimination member. And uh, all the things which are getting eliminated from the source are coming to the target. And we can see the desired result to the target dimension. To the target values so let's open it okay so as you can see we have many rules here and we also have uh, 
some deployed rules as you can see the blue ones are the undeployed and the green ones are un are the deployed rules so here we create one rule and with this plus icon we can create create a rule set under the rule set many rules will come and uh, with this icon we can we can create a uh, rules under the uh, under the current uh, rule set which we create so the rules will work so i've already prepared one rule for this to eliminate the investment let's open it okay so this is the rule set so which say uh, which or uh, which is titled as equity method investment eliminate and what it does is as you can see in the description so it says the eliminate equity investment income to come in the equity investment and to eliminate the goodwill amount to uh, or being or you can see being calculated and we will put one condition for this as you can see we have one condition let me show you uh, you can see various conditions are there let's go to advance so in advance you can see what conditions we are uh, selected you can see here so it says that when we have the data values not equal to zero you can say positive figures or the negative figures uh, or along with that when the method of the entity or the method which we are running is the is the ent entity method equity method and uh, and the entity is uh, consideration is greater than zero or along with that we have intercompany consideration percentage is greater than zero so this is the condition we have given and we can also add another condition with the plus icon as well so this is the condition and uh, then we have the factor and uh, currently i have chosen the specific factor the factor does is that uh, it will eliminate all the all the source which we given in the in the POVs, it will eliminate with the factor value or the factor percentage and give the data or the target amount uh, to our targets. So that's it for the factor. And we have many other factors as well. We will see that in our later videos. So then we have the data side. So in data side, we have, we can choose our current scenario and year and period as you are familiar with. And we have current method as, uh, we can choose the entity as well but it's lo logged now and yes for this rule we have to choose the uh, correct elimination from the consolidation dimension elimination member and we have parent currency and the view is periodic okay so at the left side you can see these are the sources which we have to choose whenever we create a rule set so it will uh, copy down to the rules so the elimination I want to do in the, let me show you. So all the things of the investment are coming in the, in our equity entity that is C903 and the ICP is also C903. So these figure we are going to eliminate. Okay. In our consulted level. So I will select the entity that is C903 or you can also select many variations of the dimensions from here if when you need and the rest ones are like work all the members work for all the members and for the particular ones we choose here in the source so for entity i only want to eliminate or you can add by you can also go here this on this option and you can choose as many as entity you want in this okay but for the equity ones also only for this rule Okay, so I have selected C903 and uh, account yeah, Account is equity and um, uh, investment in equity companies investment. So this is the source from which, which I have to eliminate the 1200 amount. So I have selected that and intercompany yes. As I already, uh, you can see that uh, C903 ICP, this is the source POV from which I have to eliminate the figure and the moment your yeah, disposal is disposal of company's business so what happens is that uh, in the elimination you can see the moment disposal is having this amount so we'll uh, we will write off we will write off eliminate this 1200 from this moment okay and data source is intercompany elimination because you know pov we want to eliminate data from this so 
in short we we are only choosing the source povs in this current rule current rule set okay so let's save uh, close and save and close okay so under this rule set i have created two rules that is goodwill eliminate and investment reverse so we want to reverse 1200 uh, amount from the investment and we have to eliminate the goodwill impact which i i will show you that's th that negative 1200 should get eliminated from this so let's make the rule for the goodwill elimination okay so you can see all the conditions are getting copied and uh, the data set set is all also logged in this so yeah the processing option so what happens is that uh, we, when we select the factor we have to uh, choose the processing option uh, for the rules so the basically the rule creation is just the alternative for the for the journal entries so you can see the add and uh, subtract also there is just for the debit and credit and nothing else and so for goodwill we want to add like it is in negative and we want to like add 1200 so it will get uh, separated like uh, then the net amount will get only zero we will get zero like if we add minus 1200 plus 1200 so we will get zero likewise it will work it will set off that minus figure with the positive ones so what we uh, this we have to do so at the left side you can see we have the source entity uh, source pov and at the right side we have the target uh, target pov so entity entity will be same as source in this and account yeah i want to offset the investment 1200 to go to the goodwill offset the investment amount of 12 1200 will move on to goodwill offset so the thing will happen is this the 1200 of this will move on to this amount goodwill offset so it will make this zero and it will make this zero and make this 12 1200 when the 1200 of this pov this account goes to this goodwill it will make 1200 also to zero so both our accounts will get zero amount so this is how it will work okay so the first rule of goodwill eliminate is that the investment amount whatever comes in the investment amount we also in the disposal will go to the goodwill offset so that's it for it and uh, yeah data source i have to show you Yeah, data sources intercompany elimination because in the main POV we have the 1200 in this POV intercompany elimination and all the elimination as you know goes to the intercompany elimination. So it will go in this. Let's save and close. And after that we want to make one rule for the investment reverse. So this is another rule for this. So as you can see it is uh, having a one title and description you can add. And the conditions are again copied and uh, data sets are logged. And here's the process option. So what happens in the Oracle uh, fusion in this FCCS? Uh, it works as the, for the for the asset account. It works with the direct relation and with the liability accounts. It work works as negative values and the inverse relation with, is there. So investment is the asset account. And so we want to subtract 1200 from the investment. So we'll select the processing option as subtract and uh, here's the source which is already copying from the create rule and we have entity so entity is same as source and account and uh, one more thing we always have to choose the lower descendants of this whenever we make any rule so only zero level descendants zero level members can only come not the top not, not the top members will come so the entity is c903 will be same as source and uh, account i will take the amount of the investment will get eliminated so that it will also same as source and intercompany as you can see it is same again uh, c903 icp 
and the moment is also disposal which is uh, similar to the previous one and data source is also same so again i will click uh, save and uh, click save and close and let's deploy this rule so to deploy this rule you have to take this and click deploy and click okay so the rule is now deployed so let's go to our excel and do the consolidation so go to smart view and i will do the consolidation run the business rule from here go to consolidate and straight away i will run this rule and let's see what figures we are getting Okay, so rule is, uh, rule is uh, ran successfully. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Refresh. Yes. So at the intercompany top and at the entity total, you can see we get the in, uh, we got the result uh, investment amount as twelve twelve thousand. I will again show you with the balance sheet which we have created in the scenario. It is twelve thousand, and uh, yeah. Income is coming as 1200 and yes, the goodwill, which uh, we were getting as negative 1200 is now coming as zero. Okay. And a stock is coming as 20,000, which only counts for the parent and retained earning is also coming as 8,200. So, and now our balance sheet is also balanced. As you can see, both the liabilities and equity are now totally balanced and equal. So this is how we create rules in our FCC, FCCS application and that's that's it for now and uh, thank you for watching with this video and if you have any query please visit our website that is bspsolutions.com and uh, thank you.